The Supreme Court is rocking the boat for us all. In an historic term, the court managed to turn the heat up on just about everything it touched, from its overturning Roe versus Wade. The health and life of women in this nation are now at risk. It will save the lives of millions of children, and it will give families hope. To its permitting concealed weapons. Unquestionably the biggest Second Amendment ruling in more than a decade from this court. To its telling the EPA to back off on regulating power plants. The U.S. Supreme Court has restricted the Environmental Protection Agency's authority to curb greenhouse gases from power plants. The debate continues on the wisdom of all these decisions, but taken together, they raise important questions for business and the market. Questions about how the rule of law that underpins our entire system will work under this new court. With some, like Senator Portman of Ohio, saying it's just an appropriate reminder that the power ultimately remains with the Congress, not the regulators. And that's what the Supreme Court was, was essentially saying, is that, wait a minute, we've got to be sure that the Congress, which is the representative of the, of the people, uh, you know, has, has the final say. While critics like Larry Tribe say the court has abandoned principle in favor of personality. It strikes me as profoundly unprincipled because the Supreme Court has long said that decisions of great durability should not be overruled in the absence of some extraordinary change other than the mere personnel of the court.